Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. It is your boy John. Today we're going to be doing a geyser plugin tutorial. And what is geyser? Well, it's a plugin that enables clients from Minecraft Bedrock Edition to join your Minecraft Java server. Which, yes, that is cross play, which is something Mojang can't do. So, yeah, it's kind of fucked up. I know. Well, anyways, we're going to be downloading Geyser and Floodgate and adding it to a server to show you guys how to do it. So, alright. So, you, you click on the three lines and you go to uh, download on geysermc.org. So, you click download. You will be sent to an epic Jenkins site. I know, right? I'm weird. So you click on the latest version, by the way, because that's the most recommended, I guess. So when you click that, so basically you go down and, and see, there's the sponge geyser, there's a normal geyser, I don't know what's that for, there's a velocity, there's spega, and there's bungee cord. Basically, you're going to be checking out your server software. And of course, the nor like the most recommended one to get is Vega, I guess. That's the most normal. The that's the default one you should get. So yeah, you basically you click on the file that your software supports. I'll be getting Geyser Spega. All right, I'll be getting that. Okay, so once you download it, you leave the sites, go back to God. So yeah, so yeah, and then you click on the three lines again and click on Floodgate, and you will be sent to a GitHub page. You go down and click the download button, and you will be getting sent to a Jenkins site. So yeah, of course, you click on the latest version, of course, because that's the most recommended thing. Um, when you click that, you go down, and for some reason, I click, for some reason, it's like that, but yeah, when you click it, you go down and click the same type of floodgate you downloaded as the same type of geyser. So I downloaded Spagot, so I'll be downloading floodgate Spagot, alright? If you download Geyser Pungy, get... Uh, Flutter Punji, if you download uh, Velocity, you know, yeah, that's it. But yeah, you will be getting a floodgate, and that, that's it. Now you have to go to your, uh, to whatever, to where, wherever you, you host your server, which for me is Anternos, right? Now, on Anternos, it's already set up, I guess. So you click, so you go on Geyser and on the Geyser folder and click on Config, and now literally copy. Make sure everything is the same as that. But the ports, there is two ports in the Config file, and both of them has to be the same one. This is the most necessary thing for your server, or else Bedrock players won't be able to join. Also, on the address, it has to be auto. The off type has to be floodgate, so it could work properly with no errors, alright? That's it. And there's other things you can customize in this config file, which is amazing. Uh, so yeah.
If you want to config the username prefix, which is a little symbol behind the Bedrock username, then go to the Fluggy config file um, and change it there. If the default is a, is a dot, so yeah, you, you can change it to any symbol you want. Just don't do underscore that, that because that can bug uh, stuff out. So please just don't put underscore because some people put underscore behind their name in Java. So yeah. Now that's it, uh, hope you liked the video, bye.